Hey everyone, Shebim here and we are back with more of the Gibraltar Challenge. It's been a disappointing off-camera experience as we lost 2-1 to Magpies. And again, a game that we really dominated and it's really frustrating when that happens. As you can see, conceding the 71st and 89th minute was uh, was pretty poor. But again, we had a lot of players missing from international duty and that sort of stuff. It was very, very frustrating. We have got those players back now. And we have two matches for you in this video. We've got Olympique in the second division League Cup quarterfinal. And then we have Man 62, I believe, at bottom of the table. Talking of the table, we are still second. We got a bit lucky because Magpies lost against Leo FC. So uh, we can go back to the top. Uh, and Man 62 are bottom, so that should be an easy win for us, hopefully. Um, and then Beaker actually won from bottom as well. It's a very tight league, obviously, as it would be. There's a very limited amount of people on there, but... I really want to win this league this year. I really just have to win this league this year. I can't risk getting in the playoffs because it's just too much effort. And I really, really just want to move into the top division and just start dominating this league and getting into the Champions League and all that sort of stuff as soon as physically possible. Without further ado, though, let's get straight into this game against Olympique in the Cup and hopefully have a nice look at the Cup run. And here we are then, our standard formation. Um, no one's special in that, actually. Everyone's pretty normal. And we'll go for it quickly. Salvi, you know, in goal. Heslop at left back, who's been actually pretty good for his eight games, one assist. We've got Lewis, seven games, one assist. Dion Hammond, seven games as well. And Baglietta with eight games. Makaka with his one goal in four games. Henry, uh, eight games, has been one of our mainstays. Trenton, one goal, two assists, been pretty good as well. Rui Lopez is starting to get more and more football now. Um, seven games, one goal. Isra, our top goal scorer so far with three goals, three assists. That's our best player. And then Kalama is back, finally. Um, three goals in five games for him. He's been away in a lot of international duty last episode. But now he's finally back. And hopefully he'll be able to uh, pick up right where he left off. Um, so what was that one? That was calm. Olympico lost three of their last five games. I expect this to pile on the misery. Let's do that one. That's interesting. A bit more um, in-depth, wasn't it, really? We are struggling a bit for money as well, I've noticed. We are losing a considerable amount of money each month, about 16, 17, even 20 k So we need to... I don't know what we can do with that. Maybe a good cup run might help us out with ticket sales, maybe. Um, and also, potentially, prize money. I don't know if there's any prize money up for grabs in this one, to be honest. But it is a little bit worrying for me how much money we are losing. And um, I'm hoping it's not going to become an issue. Right, fitness-wise, we've not played in over a month. So um, no one's knackered, but... Match fitness is going to be a bit of a problem. It's not bad though. We've had a highlight straight away. Two shots in the first three minutes is pretty good. Um, I think just having Kalama back is going to be a massive, massive boost for us. We we really don't have a lot of um, striking options apart from Kalama. I mean, we've played Nunes in a couple of games. He's been pretty poor. Uh, Montovio doesn't really get that much action up front either. Really, He's, uh, The chances he has had, he hasn't scored. So it's, um, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. Do we give them a shout early on? A, I don't know. Get creative shout? Maybe not. Um, let's have an early encouragement shout. Let's see if that does anything. Just to give them a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a kick in the right direction. It's Henry. There's Makaka. Henry's going to pick it back up. Nice ball out wide. That's the Heslop. Ball in. It's gone far post. Rui Lopez back into Isra. To the back of the net. It's Isra's fourth goal of the season. That makes him the outright top goal scorer now. He's taken uh, away from Kilama. That's great. I'd love to get through this cup. This is a, a target for us this season. I mean, I want to really get the double. I mean, win the League 2 and win the League 2 cup, I think, is a... A real nice little boost of things we could do. Nice, look at that. Very nice. Very happy with that. Right. 1-0 up. Now, can we continue on? Can we hold on to this? Can we build upon it? It's another highlight straight after, which is a little bit worrying, but hopefully it'll be in our favour. It's not. This guy's got a lot of space in the middle of his man. A lot of space. Still a little bit jittery. I can't figure out how to change. I mean, I've changed all the all the stats everywhere, and it um, still ends up being a little bit jittery. I mean, it's not lagging. It's just a bit. You don't got a lot of frames per second, have we? Really? 
Isra. Good ball. Mm. Oh, Kalama's going to get there. Kalama's going to score. Kalama heard me saying about Isra becoming the top goal scorer, and Kalama was like, nope, I'm not having that. I'm getting involved in this crap and all. All right, that's what we've missed. I mean, Kalama, I think, has been our best striker. The others are, are really... That's the big problem, though. If Kalama's going to be out for international duty here and there, we haven't really got a lot to replace him. I think next season, what I want to do is I want to let some people go. I mean, there's a lot of players on considerable wages that I didn't um, sign. The players that you start with. So those are players that I would like to move on. Um, and there are some good players I want to keep a hold of. I mean, some of the players we brought in, Trentin was a very, very good signing. Makaka is a very good signing as well. Um, Ainscuff's a very good signing, I think, on the bench. So those are players I'm very happy with. But there's a few players late. Our most expensive player is Montovio on £90 a week. And that's um, £90 a week that could be spent elsewhere. But that's the thing, though. I mean, even if I cut our wage bill down, I don't think we'd still be making a profit at this point in time. We are struggling a bit. Rui Lopez. Oh, should have been 3-0 after 13 minutes, that one. Really should have been. We're dominating Olympique here. This could be a very good episode for us. If we can get victories here and a victory against Man 62, it would be a very, very good episode. I mean, we are 2 up on this one now. I would be surprised if we didn't get a victory here now. So we've been quite lucky because we've had quite a bit of a break here and it looks like Olympic must have played recently because a lot of their players are absolutely knackered. Um, oh, it's just so good to have Kalama back, isn't it? I mean, Sibanda's on the bench. The problem is that Sibanda's been away for international duty and Rui Lopez has played so well that Sibanda's going to struggle to get back into the squad, you know. I mean, I was considering sending him back, to be honest, if we could save a bit of money, but we're actually not paying any money for him. He's... Uh, his wages are being paid by his actual club. Trenton. There's Henry. Takes a big shot from a distance. It's terrible, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I think Henry is definitely someone we have to keep a hold of next season. He's our main man in that middle pitch. Uh, Makaka seems to be very good as well, which is good. Uh, I think our starting lineup is not terrible. I mean, left back and right back does need a little bit of work. Um, centre backs are okay. Goalkeeper potentially a little bit of work as well. Um, maybe just a bit more strength and depth striker-wise. That's depending on if these players want to stay. That's the big question because uh, it could become an issue where at the end of the season, some of these players might bloody hell, Makaka's been booked again. That's his one issue, Makaka. He does get booked a lot, uh, which is going to lead to more and more suspensions, isn't it? That's his fourth booking now in nine games. Pretty shocking, really, isn't it? Either way, we're holding on here. We're, I say we're holding on. We're dominating. We eight shots to their one, four on target to their zero. Sixty percent possession. I think we could possibly. Um, do we want to go attacking? Or is that a bit too? Let's not. Let's just. Why change what works? We're doing well here. I just wanted more goals, didn't I? Isra, Ismakaka. Oh, just over the top. It'd be nice once we get a bit more money in the. Um, we did this last time. Once we get more money. Um, we developed the stadium, the national stadium, to make it bigger as well. So that's pretty good to do. Because um, that helps out all the other clubs as well. And that's one of the things that I really like doing is helping out the other clubs. Because remember, this is a club and country challenge. So the idea is, is not just to improve ourselves, but to improve the nation as well. So that's why I did improve ever so slightly the nation's youth rating. So a lot of the other teams should start to bring through some better players as well. And this whole division will hopefully become better. And more money can be put into this division. Um, I might um, help by purchasing players from other clubs when we get to the Champions League. I mean, we did it last time, just losing in the Champions League first round. It gave us like 100k, which doesn't sound like a lot to a massive club, but to a club like this, 100k is massive for losing the first round. And I mean, oh, that was nearly a goal as well. I mean, when we got a bit further in, we were getting through to the second or third round consistently every single year, and we were getting even more money. It was, it was great fun. And then, of course, um, other teams were getting more options in the Europa League, which was great. So that's the plan, really, is just to try and build ourselves up and to build the nation up as well. Ideally, get the Gibraltar job at some point. Um, but at this point in time, we're happy enough with just a club roll. So there we go, half-time. 12 shots to their one. We are absolutely hammering them here. 
So we're just going to go for a simple, passionate, um, happy. Do we want to... I think we probably should remove the risk of Lopez. Let's bring on Sibanda. Should I bring on Sibanda or should I bring on Smith? Let's bring on Sibanda. We've not played Sibanda for a while. So don't want the risk of Rui Lopez being injured for too long. They've made a substitution as well. They've brought on a second striker, which is quite interesting. Um... Maybe they're going to go a lot more aggressive in the second half. And it's annoying because we struggled against Olympique in the league recently and now it absolutely destroyed them here in the cup. But uh say, it's a good thing. I, I want to try and get that. Oh, what a tackle that was. That was a beautiful tackle. That's what the defensive book was written about, tackles like that. Yeah, I think um, I just really want to get promoted this first season. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we don't, but um, I think... We would struggle. I think the good thing about it, like I said in a previous episode, is that we will get our youth players up. I think somewhere in February we'll get our new youth players. And because at the level we're playing at, there's a good chance that some of those youth players may be good enough to walk straight into the, um, the first team, which should give us a massive, massive bonus. If we can get like a fantastic goalkeeper or a striker or something along them sort of lines, then it's going to be really, really good for us. Uh, do you want to make another substitution? I feel like we should do at some point. Um, Makaka, who has been better booked again, maybe just the risk of being sent off again. Uh, normally I bring on Ainscroft, but I'm thinking maybe Smith should get the chance today. We don't play Smith very often. And maybe Nunes. No, let's leave the striker as it is for now. We do have a game coming up soon against Man 62, which should be an easy game again. Um, we might play a couple of different players in that one. Maybe maybe Smith could start that one. Be interesting to see what we can do with them all, couldn't it, really? Uh, Max Henry's been quite error-prone today, but he's still having a... Well, he's 6.2, is actually. He's one of the worst players we've got on the pitch. I think we'll give him another 10 minutes, and we'll bring an Ains Cuff, I think, for him. Fresh up that midfield spot. As you can see, they're really struggling with energy now. Really, really struggling with energy, they are. So we're doing okay, really. Uh, back there to get his second booking of the season. I think you get three bookings and you get a one-match ban. Uh, Lewis has had his already. So we're slowing down. We have got the... Um... Let me just check the settings are correct here. This is supposed to be on highest. Why is it on average? That's weird, isn't it? And this is supposed to be on key highlights. No wonder this has got a bit slow. I don't know what's happened. It seems to have reset itself. That's really weird. Okay. That should speed things up now. now I, I, I wonder why it was going to bloody slow all of a sudden. Although it's now really whizzing by. We're not making the substitutions in time. Alright. Right. We're going to end scuff. Freshen things up in the middle of the pitch. That's going to be a free kick for... I'm going to have to have a look at it now then, because I thought we were on the highest settings. I'd already changed it once, so if this is the case, then we might be able to squeeze in more games next time then. Because I, I thought before, I'm sure we used to squeeze three games in last time. When we did the season before. And um, I did I did uh, two games in the opening episode. It just took so long, so I thought I'd have to keep it... I did three games in the episode. It just took so long, so I thought I'd have to keep it at two. But... Um, Hey ho, we won the game either way. Deserved winners. We absolutely dominated the game. And we are through to the next round of the League Cup. Excellent. I'm happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. I'm happy where you played. Everyone's happy. Great. And here we go then. Now I've changed formation just to try and confuse the AI. Because I know if you do the same thing over and over again. Um, yeah, the AI can uh, sort of catch you out. So... We've gone for a 5-2-3 formation. So we've got Salva in goal as normal. We've got Lewis and uh, Dion Williams. We've also got um, Geraldo Lopez Rico back in. He's not the best centre-back, to be honest with you. We have um, looked like I'm trying to get a new one in for January, though. Reese Mason comes in at left wing back for his first appearance. I don't know how this is going to go, but this is his first appearance for the club. Baglietto continues there. Henry Makakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Uh, Man 62 are bottom of the league, so hopefully this should be an easy game for us. Our next three games are the bottom three teams in the league, which is pretty useful, actually. We need to get those points. Magpies recently got a victory, so they're currently four points ahead of us, and this is our game in hand against them to bring it back to one. So we need to keep up with Magpies. We need to keep ahead of Magpies, really. Right, Kalama. Into Makaka. Nice. Good touches. Don't know why you played that ball out wide, but Baglietto keeps it in just about. There's a cross into the middle. Trenton, it's headed back out towards Makaka. Go on, there's a guy out the left who's got loads of space. Play it to him. There we go, Mason. Playing his first game for the club. There's the ball into the middle. It's a beautiful one. Isra headed it backwards for some reason to Kalama. Oh, why didn't you just shoot that Isra, man? You were in there and you headed it back. That is bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. Right. She wasn't the best start. Although we've had five shots now to their two. We've got 6% possession. Shouldn't be long, hopefully, before the goal comes. And there it is. It's Henry with a free kick. His first ever goal for the club. What a cracking goal that was. I weren't expecting that at all. I was expecting a, a nice little cross into the box. And there we go. Nice one, Henry. Boom. Look at that. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Right, so 1-0 up. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. So, um... Let's praise them on that. You're doing well, lads. You're doing well. You got the goal. And we're going to push forward again. Makakana to Henry. Here's Trenton. Well, I think he's played every single game so far this season. Ball over the top. Looking for Kalama. Wyatt's there to pick it up. And Wyatt's back pass to Robertson, who boots it clear as far as he can. It's been cut out nicely there by Lewis. Isra. So, yeah, the reason I've gone for this formation partly is because our right back and left back are not fantastic. So, I thought by making them less defensive roles, it might be a benefit for us. Um, we are looking at bringing a new centre back in January, which I'm currently trying to do. Uh, he looks like a very good player, actually. He plays for Gibraltar United in the top division. We can get him on a, a free contract, um, amateur contract, so he's not paying any wages or anything yet. So, that's pretty handy. So, hopefully, we can get that in place. He looks like a pretty good centre back as well. As Isra brings the ball forward. Beautiful ball into Kalama. Oh, what a save by Robertson. But that should have been a second goal. Really should have been a second goal. Right, so the fight up by the feedback. I praise them and it seems to be working quite well. We are dominating, man. I'd say that this team is, is pretty much the worst team in the league. Man. They're, they're rock solid bottom. They did actually beat Magpies recently though, which was fantastic for us. He's just been booked again. There's Makaka. Trent in with a shot. Oh, just wide. Just wide. Hoping to get a second goal just before half time, but not to be the case. Why well, is this saying we're playing 4 1 4 1? We're not, though, are we? No. I don't know why it just says 4 1 4 1 at the top for some reason. 14 shots in the first half. That was craziness. Absolute craziness. We should be scoring more goals, to be honest. Um, so let's say, passionately, you've played well, but there's still room for improvement. Because there is. Let's face it. There is still room for improvement here. I mean, 14 shots, one goal is not great. I mean, if they come forward and just score one goal or get a cheeky penalty, then all of a sudden it's a draw. And we don't want that. We want these points. We need these points. Not only to get stay close to Magpies, but pull away from the team in third and make sure that we can, if worse comes to worse, still guarantee ourselves that um, spot in the playoffs. Henry's going to take the free kick. It's gone deep to Isra, who heads it into the back of the net and gets his fifth goal of the season. Isra, nice one, my man. 2-0 up. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We needed that little bit of space to protect ourselves just in case. Again, Henry scoring one free kick and now getting the assist from another free kick as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. And they can make a couple of substitutions now. Um, I'm going to bring on Nunes up front to just to try and get him useful. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, what else do I want to do? Not a lot else I can do, is there, really? I mean... 
Henry's having a crack. I'm going to take Henry off, do I? And there's not really much else. I can bring on Franco right back in place of Baglietto. Just to give him a bit of an opportunity. Let's do that then. Let's just freshen up uh, the pitch a little bit. Kalama's not the best match, but it's not so much about him not having a great match. It's more just to try and get Nunes some opportunities to show what he can do. And hopefully get a goal, you know. Here's a free kick for Man 62. Oh, God, that's just, that just proves why I said that it's so important to get that second goal because what a tackle by Trenton. That was amazing. And then Makaka with a big ball forward. Is it going to land? It does land to Nunes, who's a big lad. Ball into the box for Israel. What a first touch to Henry. That was that, that would have been such an amazing goal, that would have been. Some great bit of work. Israel's first touch across to... Oh, just, just great. It were great, it were. It were great. Henry would have a free kick. Oh! Off the inside of the post and just... The defender was the quickest man there. Oh, we've got quite a lot of crowd down here, actually. Which is good, because we need the ticket sales. To try and get some money back. The club is still not turning a profit. It's still making a loss. 19 shots, 2 goals. It's not the best result in the world, is it? Let's face it. Alright, I am going to be silly. And I'm going to go for it. There you go. Two strikers. Let's try two striker though. Let's see how we get on now then. It's starting to get a little bit um, jittery again, and it's just. It is, am I sat too close to the screen? Maybe that's a bit better. I suppose let's take a sit back. Go on, Salva, get it clear. There we go. Big ball forward. We've got two strikers now. Hopefully they can work together. Of course, we are waiting for that. Um, yeah. Have that tactical change to happen yet? It's not happened. Lopez. Good block again. And Trenton's there, as always. The Italian Stallion. Oh my god, look at this run by Trenton. Finding Nunes. Who's gone for it from distance. Oh! I'll tell you what, the, uh, the height wasn't bad. It's a little bit off target. Well, on comes Montobio. Takes Israel off just to protect him as well because he has been booked already. That's Trenton's third yellow card this season. That means he's going to miss his first game. I don't think he's missed a single game so far this season, but we've. Um, 27 shots we've had now. And we've still only scored two goals. That's the worry, isn't it? I mean, Nunes and Montovio. Well, Montovio isn't even the bench for, on the pitch for like 10 minutes now, but Nunes. has been on for a good half an hour. I just worry about the lack of goals, I really do. I mean, when you have this many shots, you just think you should be doing more, don't you? Montovio's picked up an injury, it's a bruise shin. He should be alright for the next 30 seconds. Franco's ball into the box. Keeper picks it up. I'm sure it's going to be full time. There we go. Excellent. 2 0 victory over Man 62 is exactly what we needed. It was a very, very dominant performance, but um, I'm a little bit disappointed with the lack of goals, I must admit. Um, let's just say very pleased. Let's just keep you happy. Uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed with the um, the lack of goals, to be honest, but that does put us in a very good position. Now we're three points clear of third place, College 75, and only one point behind the Magpies. So it does really make things interesting for us. Our next two games are against Hound Dogs and Leo. So we should be in a good position to get three wins in the next three games, hopefully. Um, probably what I'll do is I'll play the Hound Dogs and Leo's games off camera, and then we'll come back for the game against whoever it's going to be in the Rock Cup, I suppose, and then College 75 as well. Look at that. We've got Magpies and Mag... That's a double episode there. Double Magpies episode. It's going to be a big one, that one. But yeah, we'll play these two off camera now, hopefully get the two wins. I'll come back for this game and College... Then I'll play the Olympic off camera and come back for the two Magpies games anyway. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, please like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you again very, very soon for the next episode of the Gibraltar Challenge. Bye.